Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. Today I'm just going to do a little segment on my heroes and I want to just apologize here up front because there's a little glare but uh, that's not really the focus here. It's uh, the fish, not the glare. So um, I apologize. Um, I just want to get the uh, fish in and uh, just kind of share them with everybody and uh, let everybody enjoy them. They're such beautiful fish. Um, I've got a 180 gallon tank and 150 right now coming and um, I'm doing water changes in this tank like every three days because it's over uh, overstocked I realize uh, I've been doing this for a while but uh, this is the best I can do considering I had a larger tank uh, crack on me so um, you know stuff happens and fortunately there wasn't a lot of damage from water and uh, anyway that said uh, moving on focusing on the fish um, I've got a bunch of algae eaters in here, Siamese algae eaters, and they're great. Uh, I do uh, make sure I don't clean the sides too much because uh, it's pretty cool to watch them, how they all just sort of group together and see how the one in the back, the two in the back there are just kind of feeding off the glass. Sometimes it's cool because you'll get all ten of them together. It's like they're, uh, they're having a meet or something it's pretty cool um, I had no idea I didn't realize that uh, Siamese algae eaters were such tight schooling fish but they are if given enough room um, so uh, these are super reds so um, it's kind of interesting um, these are super reds down here too these little tiny ones and um, there's also some uh, rough keels in here as well so I have a combination of rough keels and uh, super reds and um, got them at the same time from the same source um, so very trusted and um, I just decided I would quarantine them together and uh, keep them in this uh, tank for a while. And um, there's really not much to look at when they're this young. They're just, they're so tiny, they don't hardly have any color. But um, I do hand feed them, and that's a lot of fun. You know, all these little tiny fish. They're all coming up to you, feeding out of your hand, and that's really good, actually, in my opinion, uh, later on in my experience, keeping fish. When you hand feed your fish when they're younger, uh, it's pretty much the same when they get older. Uh, you can hand feed them as well then, and, uh, you know, just put your hand right in there with them, and they're not shy, and it's pretty nice. I'm gonna see if I can kind of zoom in a little bit more on uh, some of the fish, uh, like the uh, warus. There you can see it's starting to get a little color on the bottom, a little blue. They're very friendly fish. I really like them. They have a great disposition, and they grow faster than really than any fish I've, I've had so far and I've had a lot of fish even faster than uh, uh, African zebras yeah some of the super reds are starting to get more color they almost seem more like a gold severum but this one's starting to get more color and it's darkening up in which case, I'll start to have more 
faith in the, the vendor. Right now I'm, I don't know, kind of wondering how super red they are. <laughs> Looking at them, they're not so super red. And this adult gold spotted, or the red spotted striped gold severum, I mean, he's not even a super red. Look at his coloring. It's pretty red, actually. And um, he is the boss of, or yeah, he, that's a male. And you can tell by the front. Um, the definition is so defined right there on the front of the nose. That's a true sign of a male. Whereas if it were a female, you wouldn't have so many stripes and so much definition in the coloring. It would be more of a blase background and more gold, kind of like, like that right there. You wouldn't see so much definition. Um, well, heck, I mean, maybe some of these super reds are, are females, so they're not coloring up. That would just be my luck that the guy sends me a bunch of females. Um, I find that hard to believe, but I don't really know the person I bought these from, so I don't know. They may not be super reds. See in a few more months. Um, at this point, I would say though, however, this guy was this color when he was their size. So now these are truly super reds, and they're from a very reliable source. So we'll see what happens. So. And then I have in here um, these uh, officiados, heroes officiados. Um, I don't know if you can see the coloring, but it's just, it's really, it's kind of hard to get it, but coloring on these fish is beautiful. I've got kind of like a rust colored background with some rust detail and the reds are starting to come in more so um, the guy told me that these were triangle severums but I don't know if that is I looked it up and it could be one of a few things um, let me see this right here this fish Let's see, he's been right here. He's behind my, there he goes. That one that just came up and made an aggressive approach. That is a rock teal. And there he goes. Also known as a red shoulder. Although fish don't have shoulders, so. Um, but that is supposedly a rock teal. He's kind of losing his stripes. And the bands are starting to go away on him. They were definitely more pronounced when he was younger. So, well that's a lot of time, so I wanna just kinda wrap it up and uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in everybody. Say hi, Pepe. By the way, Pepe is about, let's see, about eight inches long. And so are those uh, Uarus. They're a little bit smaller uh, but of course also Pepe is uh, much thicker in terms of uh, just the girth of the fish far more pronounced Let's see if I can get a good shot of them 
see the girth on them. Pretty big fish. <laughs> 